Hey there, this is Akshan and welcome back to a new video. In the last video, we learned about final and constant. In this video, we are going to study if else, right? So I'm going to create a new dart pad. And yes, uh, one advertisement from my side. If you guys want to learn Flutter in Hindi from me, the course link is in the description. Enroll into that into that course ASAP, right? The seats are limited there, right? So this is a new dart pad, and I am uh, inside a new main function. And we are going to study if else today, right? We are going to study if else today. If else, and there is also in between else if, right? And we are going to study this concept today. So why we use this if else as the name defines, we have to, whenever we have to put conditions, then we use this if else. I hope I'm clear, right? So when do we want to put conditions? So let's say you're building an app which should allow people to vote or not vote, right? So for voting, the app says that you should be at least 18 years of age, right? So let's say you put some value, right? And uh, then your function is going to compute whether this person can vote or not vote. So that means I'm going to write a function that is going to say true or false, right? So I'm going to write a function uh, which is going to return me boolean. So boolean, it is the return type. This is not a void because it is going to return some value, true or false. So boolean, boolean, vote. It is going to take age. So int age, don't worry about function syntax. I'm going to come to it very soon. But this is going to take a variable, a parameter, int age of that person. And now I'm going to say, if, then, uh, square uh, so the circle brackets if my age is greater than or equal to 18 then return true right format it right like this else return false format it this function is clear if I'm above 18, I can vote. If not, you cannot vote. And over here, I am going to say int age, let's say age is uh, 120 years, <laughs> I'm putting, but I'm going to tell you the purpose of this very, very soon, right? I'm putting 120 over now, like right, like, right now, right? So int age is 120, and I'm going to uh, just say, uh, I'm going to, return value so boolean vote is equal to i'm going to call that function vote so this vote is actually a function name so i'm going to make it vote function right vote function and i'm going to call that vote function and i'm going to give it the age right so this is going to return me a boolean value and that boolean value will be stored in this vote variable right and i'm going to now say uh print vote And if I just run it, true. I can vote because I'm above 18, right? And now I don't want to return Boolean. I want to return a string. And if I'm 18, then say you can vote. If I'm uh, not 18, then say you cannot vote, right? and this will become string, right? Run, and it is going to come, you can vote, okay? Now let's know the purpose of, of this 120, why I put 120? Because now I can utilize else if. So if I am, if I am above 18, and, 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 age is less than 100 then you can vote right else if else if my age is above or equal to 100 then i'm going to say are you sure you are living <laughs> this is a funny sentence are you sure you are living like this okay 
this is just for fun okay so else if age above than 100 are you sure are you living and then i'm going to say else if if somehow my age is less than zero or less than or equal to zero i'm going to say return you are not born okay and then i'm going to format this yes so if i'm above 18 and less than 100 then you can vote if i'm above 100 are you sure you're living if i'm less than zero then you are not born else that means i'm between 0 to 18 0 to 17 then you cannot vote okay so this is how you define your conditions else return you can not vote okay let's run it okay put a semicolon are you sure you're living because i put 120 right if i put minus 4 you are not born right if i put 21 you can vote and if i put 16 or 12 you cannot vote i hope that you like this video about if else till the next part keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot